got the loot up on the team to see if they're crispy or sticks or Don't worry about that, I'm just not just fucking good. Okay guys, sorry about that. We are back with Baron. Winner of the previous match is now facing Plastic Pop Tart in the second round. Plastic Pop Tart, obviously one of the best UK players in the game. Well known for edge well known for edge guarding his opponents in my point of view. But there's a good witch time for Baron as he's off and running, quickly racking up damage, but Pop Tart was able to DI out of it. Now Baron has got Pop Tart off stage. And that's the stock already. Popped out trying to land on the ledge but wasn't able to. So a very good start for Baron. As he already got a stock advantage against Plastic Pop Tart. Let's, but we'll just see if he can be able to continue playing it this way. And he's already got Pop Tart in the air again. Wasn't able to continue out. And there's another witch time. Ooh, heavy punish there with the up smash. Well, already Pop Tart is, seems to be struggling out there. Oh, goodness me. Baron anticipated um, Plastic Pop Tart approaching with an aerial, and instead he gets punished for it in the end. Now, Pop now it's Pop Tart's turn to rack up damage quickly. Already got Baron at 43%. And has pretty much leveled the match already. Again, Baron's got him in the air, but couldn't really end it. No, Baron is off stage. Oh, that was very risky. And goodness me, that bat within has ended Baron's last stock. As Plastic Pop Tart takes a 1-0 advantage. Fairly unlucky for um, Baron. So off we go to game two, and they're going back to Smashville again. Now I would say, Baron did well in the first game. If he could continue playing like this against Plastic Pop Tart, he could be able to not only level the match, but maybe even win the match against Plastic Pop Tart. But we'll see how he does. That was, that was a good escape there by Pop Tart. Escaping, you know, Bayonetta's up tilt, which could easily combo into Witch Twist. But again, Baron doing a good job of getting Pop Tart in the end and able to get a good combo going. But as we saw earlier, Plastic Pop Tart was able to um, respond back very quickly with racking up lots of damage. So it could go either way this match, in my point of view. Both players seem to be playing fairly evenly. That's a good Dancing Blade. I thought that was the stock. But I guess only bad DI would have ended it there. And there, as we see Pop Tart trying to look for the stock there, wasn't able to. And now this is a good opportunity. Nope. It was a good opportunity for Baron, but again, Pop Tart doing a good job escaping from Bayo's combos. Both of them taking their time approaching. I think at this point, Plastic Pop Tart has the advantage at the moment. Again, Baron's off stage. Oh, very good tech by Baron. And there's another um, B, but doesn't end it just yet. But a grab at this point to up throw would end the stock. But again, good pressuring by Baron. It's not making it's not making this easy work for Plastic Pop Tart, which is good to see. But as I said earlier, just a grab to up throw was all Plastic Pop Tart needed. And he's off and running again. Ooh. Bit risky there by Baron. Again, another good um another good up B by Pop Tart. Okay, for some reason up there did not kill. And again, Baron seems to be. Getting a bit desperate to try to end Plastic Pop Tart's first stock. But Plastic Pop Tart having none of it. Good neutral air. Since Baron off stage, and another neutral ends it. Well done to Plastic Pop Tart, he comes out as a 2 0 winner.